Um, I definitely forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so I apologize for that. I just got, I was just sewing and then I went straight to bed. Um, but I got quite a bit done, so that's good. Um, I just got home from work. I think it's 6 o'clock. Yep, 6 o'clock exactly. I was supposed to stay till 6.30 because I was going to work a little bit late. And I just didn't. <laughs> I was just like, nope, I'm... I can't, plus I was rendering and it was just, I don't know, it was, I'm not going to go into it, but, <laughs> uh, work was productive, I just kind of started running, like, I, I finished the thing I was working on and it was just kind of a thing, but, I mean, I worked like eight and a half hours, I just wanted to work nine, but anyway, um, I'm going to take the dog out and then I'm going to take a bath because I'm cold, just, and I'm covered in all these bug bites from the wedding, like, they're everywhere, it sucks, um, I have a bunch, like, on my back. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see, but I have a bunch of bug bites on my back. And yeah, I just kind of want to take a bath um, and then and relax. And then I have a frozen pizza for dinner. <laughs> and um, then I'm just going to sew for the rest of the evening. And that's going to be this whole week. So. Hi, guys. So I took my bath. And it was awesome. That was so nice. I, you know, I mentioned to you guys a little while back that I need to try to make sure to remember to take care of myself while I'm so busy or else my projectivity level is just going to go down, you know? And that's why I was like, okay, I'm giving myself like an hour. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to put on a face. I put on a face mask. I put on a hair mask. I took a bath. I took a shower. After the bath, just like wash the face mask and the hair mask out. And then I'm trying that technique that plopping thing or whatever again there's like a very slight natural wave in my hair I'd say it's like it's not wavy but it's not straight it's like kind of somewhere in the middle um and I'm trying to get it to come out more but I feel like I might have to get it cut for that I don't know if anyone knows how to coax out more waves because it does have wave like it's not like my hair like when my hair dries naturally it doesn't dry stick straight it has very slight wave to it and my mom has curly hair and my sister has um like wave in her hair as well so I'm trying to just like emphasize that you know and like I can get like a kind of a natural wave but it does fall really quickly and it um it can tend to look it's not like super uniform so I was like I'll try that I'll try the plopping thing again plus it keeps my hair out of my face while it's drying because my hair is long so it takes a while to dry anyway I just turned on the oven to cook my pizza so I'm gonna cook my pizza I have one last episode of Project Runway in the season that I'm on and then I'm gonna switch to Sabrina the Teenage Witch and we're gonna work on the Comic-Con costume and it's gonna be a good night and I'm feeling very relaxed and I'm glad that I took some time out of my day to take care of myself oh I look crazy Okay, so I obviously stayed up way later than I should have, um, but I got really, like, just, like, on a roll with the costume, and I got way more done tonight than I originally planned or expected, which is awesome because it actually puts me ahead, so I feel like it's hopefully worth the late night. We'll see tomorrow, so this is what the costume is looking like right now. So the skirt is 100% done. Petticoat, I have the petticoat, um, excuse me. This is on backwards right now, but petticoat, skirt, apron. I have this, which is like a weird bag combo thing. This is a bag. Um, I think hers might have been a bag. This bottom one might have, been, might have been a bag as well, but I didn't really need it to be a bag, and I wanted to cut down on bulk. Plus, um, it was just easier for me to use the fabric this way. Um, this white shirt is pretty much done. I didn't really have to do a lot of altering to it. I just had to kind of sew this and then I sewed on this white scarf just on this edge um, and then it just kind of folds around and I actually got a lot of work done on the corset which is awesome um, I still have quite a bit of work to do so like I haven't cut or hemmed it so it's way longer than it should be and actually this front panel is too big it needs to cut off around here so I'm actually going to take these seams in just to kind of pull it forward just a little bit but um, I hand painted and dyed all of the fabric up here because her fabric has like a very textured kind of pattern on it that we couldn't find. So I just kind of did it myself. Um, I actually had to modify this a little bit because 
um, I did these little marks with like a uh, an old toothbrush, but I did it in black by accident first instead of the blue. So to tone it down, I went over with the blue. So the pattern is a little bit more art artsy than hers, but I think it gives the same effect. And then I did all of the uh, grommets. Is that the right word? Grommets eyelets on this side. So those are all done. Some of them will have to get cut off, but I just did the whole way. Um, which is awesome. And then this has princess seams. I didn't draft these. I modified it um, from an, another something else that I took apart. And then I, I colored this and then I put it all back together again. Um, and made it like fit me a little bit better. And then this is the back, which again, I didn't make. I just kind of took and then I took out the zipper and sewed it back together. And haven't done the straps yet, so what I have to do still is, so she kind of has this under layer to this, which I actually am going to attach to this corset. Um, so it's actually blue, and more of this blue underneath here, kind of like a modesty panel. Um, and like I said, this needs to be a bit of a wider gap. Um, but since I already sewed this, I have a couple options. I could just cut this off and move it inwards, which wouldn't be hard. And I can also kind of pull in these seams a little bit. So I might do a combination of both, I'm not really sure. But yes, I have to do this kind of panel underneath and then there's also this like red floral fabric that goes underneath this whole thing as well that needs to be under there kind of peeking out the top. So I have to do that. But this is all done. So I did this whole little thing today. And this looks like it's two, but it's act they're both connected to the same tie, which is cool. And then I had to add this trim to this bag. She has the same floral. This is the red floral that's going under here. And this is what she has as a trim on her bag. So it's cool that she has like a bag in her costume because that gives me a place to put my stuff during the convention. I also left this um, petticoat right here, the best fabric that I could find for it that was closest to what she had was actually a men's shirt. So I actually left the pocket of the men's shirt on because it's like the perfect size for my phone. And I just kind of feel like, um, see, I just kind of feel like during the convention, if my phone is in here, like it's going to be like, this is good and pretty convenient, but I still know that stuff's going to kind of fall down to the bottom. And I just think it'll be easier to just be able to grab it from right there. So yeah. And then, um, obviously I have to add, connect the straps around here. Um, and this strap, this side strap attaches to the red layer. This strap attaches to the blue layer. So it's kind of weird and the red layer will come under here and then I'll have it attach um, probably with like snaps or something to this side or I might just tuck it in. I'm not really sure. It's a weird, it's a weird top. Um, I may cut some of the fabric down on this scarf. I haven't decided yet. Um, we'll see how it looks when I try it on, but yeah, it's starting to come together. I think it's, um, gonna look good when it's done, so I'm excited. And with that, I'm gonna go to bed, because it's 2 a.m. I stayed up way, way, way later than I was supposed to. I cannot do that tomorrow. I keep telling myself that I need to get a good night's sleep, and it's just not happening, but that's okay, because I got really far today, so hopefully... I can, you know, not be as crazy the rest of the week. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye vlog.